what is up guys and in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how you make igtv videos instagram story videos all for instagram stay tuned so when it comes to making igtv content it is really simple the dimensions are really exactly like instagram stories so it's 9 by 16 so what i do is i go to abc hd 1080 and you go click settings you want to go scroll up to custom and then you just switch these numbers around so it's 1080 by 1920. now you have a 9 by 16 ratio click ok and there you have your quote unquote IGTV dimensions. But I am recording this in 2019 of June or July. And with the new update, IGTV is slowly transitioning to horizontal video nest now. In other words, you're able to rotate your screen. So it doesn't really matter if you upload an IGTV version, because if you rotate your screen on your phone, it will go to landscape. But this is the, for the purpose of the video I'm going to show you guys how you make those IGTV videos so I just have three simple 16 by 9 normal YouTube format as you can see here and if I drag all this video onto this timeline and I don't change the sequence I keep existing sequences this is the format that you will most people will see on Instagram so what you need to do first is you need to right click the clip and click scale to frame size. What this will do, it will fit the video to the sequence dimensions. So now you can see the video itself is in that IG TV or IG story format. But now you have these white bars or black bars transparency on the top and bottom and you can play around with them. You can hold alt duplicate it and this is what I like to call the back blur so what most people do is you duplicate the layer you put a Gaussian blur on it I'd say do it to 41% or 50 if you want depending how blur you want it repeat edge pixels and you just zoom it in a bit the scale now you have that kind of standard IGTV look and what most people do is they have text here so make sure when it comes to the IGTV format when it comes to the 9x16 you literally only have like I would roughly say like two inches from here and here before it cuts off and you won't be able to see that in the feed if that's your goal and how you post these in the feed is that when you upload your IGTV content all you need to do is you go to when you upload it it says show pre show preview in feed and it will show you a, a minute clip actually in your feed so what you want to do is make sure roughly around an inch inch and a half above and below those are where the text will show up in your feed if, if you plan to use it just for IGTV then you don't really have to worry about having things the text above and below but if you want to show in your feed the text here and text here below that would ultimately show up on screen but another workaround or hack around this is you can just have whether you can you know your Photoshop skills and you just upload your own IGTV preview as a, a thumbnail so you don't even have to worry about whether or not this shows up in your feed looking proper but this is how you do it if you didn't have an IGTV thumbnail and it's pretty that simple so when it comes to the dimensions and all the specs IGTV videos as long as they're longer than a minute a minute 10 a minute 30 then you can upload it to IGTV anything under a minute you won't be able to upload to IGTV and they won't be able to be previewed in the feed and you can upload videos up to 10 minutes and if you're a if you have a creator account you can upload videos up to an hour and that's the really straight to the point basics of how you edit IGTV video IGTV videos you can even do like color mats and like put like different cool things so what I'm gonna do now is just do a little basic radial gradient color mat so I go control T 
I go to background, I click radial gra gradient. And let's click. Let's go with my favorite color. So that's just your basic color mat or title. And I just literally just underlay that underneath the video. And now as you can see, that those black bars before are now colored. You can really do anything. You can have the bottom layer be some kind of animation or some kind of like this stock vector image that moves and animates while the video inside is playing. You can play around with the different styles. It's really up to your own creativity. But that is how you make an IGTV video and how you can repurpose your YouTube content for IGTV. But also please be known that now with the IGTV format, you can essentially just upload a video like this, rotate your screen and IGTV will eventually, this has not taken effect yet, but will eventually, if you rotate the screen, it will go into horizontal or landscape view. My name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary Collective where I help you create content and repurpose it so you can survive in this digital age and we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.